Top Billing, billing. Uptown Murph. Top Billing, billing. Yo, top billing. Salute to the great folks over at BetUS. They are definitely behind this one here. Now look, it's almost game time. Your Seattle Seahawks going against the San Francisco 49ers. I actually can't wait for this game here. It's going to be a great clash of styles. Now, I wanted to get to some stuff on the defense. I think I'm going to go ahead and start with the offense. Hopefully, I can get to another joint before the game for the defense. But if not, man, it is what it is right here because I believe the Seattle Seahawks left a few points on the board. Now, this is controversial as always, and I'm going to preface it by saying the same thing that I say every time. If you come here telling me your thoughts on how you believe Tyler Lockett should conduct himself, I'm blocking you. Straight up. I don't need to hear that, right? There's a difference of opinion there. So we don't need you for you to say this, and you're not going to change my mind on it. I believe the dude hurts his team sometimes as great of a player as he is. Now, I did not see this one live. This was crazy. Now, you get a really nice concept here, right? Multiple and breaking routes. Right? You got Lockett right here on the outside, Smith and Jigba, right? Mine Jigba here on the inside, a clear-out route by DK. Now, the safety bites on this for sure, right? It was towards the end of the half, and you had Dennis Rodman Jr. himself getting vert. Obviously, you're going to want to uh, key on that right there. But I did not know this happened to Tyler Lockett's man when he went down. I just thought it was a good play. It was a hell of a route. Bang, made him fertilize himself, and then he fertilized his own self. I did not see that. I don't know that. I did not know that happened to a Dory Jackson, right? I was like, oh, okay, that's pretty head up play, and this is a great play by your boy e at Geno's, BKA Grub at Geno's, because, of course, the pocket is collapsing. You got Brian Burns getting around your boy Stone Feet Forsyth here, and Geno steps up in the pocket and still delivers accurately. But look, right? This man's on the ground. In twerk position, your boy Lockett Launcher, if he doesn't immediately get the ball and look, watch, he gets the ball and he looks. He already predetermined that the safety will probably be right there. He didn't want to take that hit. The safety bit hard over here, right? No diddy. That man sticking his foot in the ground as fast as Adoree Jackson is. We know Lockett Launcher can run as well. He takes that bad boy, vert this direction. How does he not score? Now, yes, it was, I believe, ended up with six seconds left or something like that by the time they got to him and touched him. But riddle me this. If this is DK Metcalf fertilizing a cornerback like that, do you think he falls down? Or do you think he scores? Ultimately, nothing comes down to one play. No doubt about that, right? Whether it be his fumble or whether it be Smith and Jigba's drop or the block field goal, and stuff like that, right? It's a comedy of errors, right? The game is won in the trenches. They did not do well in the trenches in this game. But this particular play right here stands out to me because this looks like for sure points. For sure points. Look at all that space and opportunity, man. I'm tired of hearing these people, oh, don't touch little Tyler now, as if he's not going against some little-ass defensive backs. Those are defensive backs, man. That's not like that's not the same, right, getting hit by linebackers and defensive linemen. Now, I can kind of agree with that, right, if he wanted to preserve himself. But little-ass DBs who are probably just as afraid as he is of getting hit, right, it doesn't make sense to me. Come on, man. That That right there to me is letting your team down. Yo, I really love how Ryan Grubb conducts himself. You guys should probably cherish the moments that you have with him as the OC of your team. I could definitely see him being a head coach candidate uh, somewhere pretty soon right here. So he says, OC Ryan Grubb on lack of running game, I'll own that. He goes to say, got to get the ball to Kenneth Walker more. I think we had plenty of run game in the plan. Didn't have anything to do with not having enough calls for that. Just didn't get called. And for us, we leaned on the wrong thing. And I think if we get 10 touches or more from Kenneth Walker, 15 more touches, things are going to look different. He goes on to say, it's just falling back on stuff that you know guys can do well and just examining where our offense is at, the DNA. What are things that when you go out in that training camp that these guys can execute? Players over plays. 
How do we get these guys the ball, even if it's in a competition or if it's a one-on-one setting? And so you just try to find those niches that are available, which they certainly are. It also says Seattle in his week six last in the NFL in rush attempts per game, yet it is seventh in the league in yards per carry and tied for third with eight rushing touchdowns. So that says a lot to me, right? For one, uh, you can still get your man, eat at Geno's, um, some bunny touchdowns there. You don't have to always run it in when you're that close. But having five yards per attempt, obviously they have quality running backs, but it just goes to show you how potent that damn passing attack is. And people have to really, really hone in on that. And you can be very efficient that way. You're passing to open up the run. It's the complete change from how it was in the past. When he says he has the runs in the playbook, but didn't necessarily get to him, you have to also factor in he's calling pass tags on the back of these run calls. If you can see this right here, this is a run. Right. But they get the leverage that they want. Shoot it out to Jackson Smith and Jigba. Let him do his thing after the catch. So pretty much an extension of the run. You can see right here, everybody coming off the block, right? Double, double. Got those two doubles there. So everybody block and run, except he knows, right? Ryan Grubb taught your man Gino that if they get the type of levers they want, they can go to the potential screen pass there and uh, let Jackson Smith and Jigba do his thing. So... That's one reason, right? Definitely one of the reasons why he did not go to the run game there. He was putting those pass tags on the back of that. And like I said before, the passing game looks unstoppable, meaning if he had the proper pass protection for his quarterback, I don't see too many people in the league who can stop that passing attack, like especially on a regular basis. What stops the passing attack is the pass pro, the pass pro, in the past, bro, undoubtedly your man Ryan Grubb probably got discouraged seeing runs like this. A.J. Bonner right here probably needed to peel back. Understand that probably was the assignment call for him. Uh, but if you can see this right here, uh, walled off right here with Charles Cross. Get the double right there, Lake and Tomlinson. Or pretty much manned up right there. No, it's, I think it is double right there with Connor Williams there. Anthony Bradford, he got his man there. Got Stone Forsyth climbing up here. A.J. Bonner, he needs to get the approach and safety here. And then maybe Kenneth Walker can shoot that off of his hip there and then uh, be one-on-one -on -one right here. And we know what he can do with somebody who's one-on-one -on -one there. But uh, Bonner continues to work and works with Farrell Brown here. And that's no bueno. You see it continues. And Kenneth Walker has to try to make chicken salad out of chicken shit. Remember, bet US is where it's at, especially when they have that 150% sign up bonus on your first three deposits up to $2,000 with 10% gambler's insurance. Promo code YouTube150, it's time. Remember, you're getting that ease of use, you're getting that 24 7 customer support, and you're getting those 24 hour payouts. There's nothing to do but to do it absolutely make sure you get on over to bet us enter the promo code youtube 150 and start playing today bet us where the game begins i thought this was pretty self-explanatory right here but you still had some people questioning geno smith in some of these sacks right here so you can see this obviously this is not his fault right there connor williams getting that prison loving from dexter lawrence right there that was brutal Absolutely brutal. Dexter Lawrence, one of the very best in the NFL. Connor Williams, pretty much no match for him because pretty much nobody is a match for that dude. Uh, but we see right here, uh, yeah, that's pretty bad there. But if you go and look at th the wide angle here, by the time he's there on his drop, the damn pocket is already collapsing here. And is there anyone open? Where would you like for Geno Smith to throw this, sir? And how is Geno Smith going to escape when the entire pocket is collapsing around him? Yeah. Find a new angle. Take your eye off the ball. That's how you learn about football. Pat Curran taught us that back in the day. You guys need to adhere to that, those of you who want to blame the quarterback for every single thing that happens to your favorite team. But when you can line it up and hand it to this guy and watch him do this, oh, my God. 
Deontay Banks, what happened? He fell in two different directions. Look at this right here. Hitting with the jag, right? The, the, the dead leg right there. Bang. You see him fall that way, right? That right there cracked one of his ankles. And then he fell the other way. <laughs> oh, my God. Listen. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today for this man's ankles. His ankles lived a long and fruitful life until he saw Kenneth walk on his carry. <laughs> Come on, man. What are we doing here? Ryan Grubb definitely needs to get this guy 10 to 15 touches, but I told y'all before, that has to be hard to do when you have that many damn weapons and you're so potent right there. But, man, when you can fertilize a man and leave his ankles on death door, what are you doing here? But, listen, that's going to be it for your boy right here, man. Uh, we probably just need to go ahead and move the chapter on right here to the San Francisco 49ers game. No news in looking back, looking forward. I like what Ryan Grubb was talking about right there. He's a guy that obviously can self-evaluate, um, but he's got a lot on his plate. But it's always a good thing to have in a coach. So uh, much love to everybody out there, man. Much love to all my supporters, all my top billing villains. Much love to BetUS, of course. Get on over to BetUS. Enter the promo code YouTube150 for that 150% sign-up bonus on your first three deposits up to $2,000. Your boy, the Underground King, signing out. Strike the band. What more can I say? Top billing. Top billing.